Hello, this is how to install the XRDP RTP server, remote desktop protocol server on Kubuntu 25.10. So Kubuntu 25.10 comes with um, KDE Plasma, but just uh, the Wayland and session. XRDP depends on X11. So for this, we will need to install the KDE Plasma X11 session. Let's log out and look at the SDDM desktop manager. doesn't say anything about a session, so we'll want to install the X11 session for KDE Plasma in addition to the Wayland session. Let's find out the name of the package. So it's probably this one, plasma minus X11. The other ones are libraries. We will need uh, the X11 window manager Kwin. The package for Kwin has been split. There are two executables now, Kwin uh, minus Wayland and Kwin minus X11. And there's different uh, dip packages for these two. As you can see, Kwin X11 is not installed yet. So this package. You need to be the super user. Yes, it installs the Kwin X11 window manager. Let's log out and see if the session is now offered in SDDM. Yes, so we have now just one X11 session, which is the one for Plasma, and just one Wayland session, again for KD Plasma. So if uh, there's just one X11 session available in SDDM, and we install the RDP remote desktop protocol server XRDP. Then uh, when we start XRDP, when we try to connect remotely via the remote desktop protocol, the XRDP server will try to start the only X11 session that's installed on the computer. So that means no additional configuration steps will need to be made if we have just one X11 session. Okay, and now let's install the packages for XRDP. Let's to packages XRDP and uh, XORG XRDP. Let's uh, restart just in case. Okay, so that should be it. You just installed three packages, the KD Plasma X11 session, XORG, XRDP, and XRDP. That's it. So this is my wiki page and mariusp.github.io. This is the page for RDP. You scroll down towards Kubuntu. This is the only command line that's needed. And um, let's try to connect to the RDP server using the executable X3 RDP. If you're on Wayland, you would use 
WL RDP, they're from the free RDP binary package. Let's find out the IPv4 address of the computer, ends with dot four. Control left to jump a word. Let's look at the command line. So it says that um, I'm on X11 on the host computer. That's why I'm using X3RDP. Uh, there is a choice between FreeRDP version 2 and FreeRDP version 3. I'm using the user administrator on the Kubuntu 25.10 computer. I want an initial resolution of 1080p. The Kubuntu 25.10 virtual machine has this uh, IPv4 address. And then we want the best performance, v slash video slash RFX slash GFX. And um, the network speed is uh, le uh, local area network. Dynamic resolution means that if there's not enough space for a 1080p resolution, which is the case in this moment, because the monitor is 1080p, but then some pixels are taken by the KD Plasma main panel, some pixel was, will be taken up by the title bar of the X3RDP X11 window. And then uh, that means that dynamic resolution will change, will tell the KD Plasma inside Kubuntu 25.10 to change a bit the resolution, such that no stretching happens and the fonts look correct inside the RDP window. And then we say, take the sound from Kubuntu 25.10 and play it back on the host computer, on the machine where we have the X3RTP client. Okay, so we could connect remotely, but we cannot see the KD Plasma panel of the Ubuntu 25.10 computer. So for that, I'm going to resize the window by double clicking on the title bar, for instance. Whoa. And now we can maximize it again. So this is a bug, happens sometimes. I'm not exactly sure what's um, the cause of the bug. So again, does not matter how you resize the client window for X3RDP. The X3RDP application will compute the size that's inside its own window and will tell the remote Kubuntu 25.10 computer, hey, please change your resolution to the size that's exactly the size of the interior of the X3RDP window. Let's see how that works. So the resolution now is 500, 958 by 510. Very important feature because like this, for instance, I can make the FreeRDP window take the left half of the screen and I can have my uh, web browser take the right half of the screen, which means that I'm not forced to install a web browser inside the um, remote computer and I'm not forced to use a web browser on the remote computer. I can use the web browser that I normally use with um, my sessions, my passwords and all of my settings in just one place on the host computer, on the computer where the FreeRDP client application runs. Because copy-paste of text will work bidirectionally. So this is it. This is how to install the XRDP remote desktop protocol server on Kubuntu 25.10. Previously, the Plasma Session X11 was pre-installed out of the box on Kubuntu, but now, 
starting with version 25.10 you will additionally need to install this the package plasma minus session minus x11 whenever you want to install the xrdp server and the advantages of using xrdp server and uh, a remote desktop protocol connection versus just using this uh, console of, uh, in our case, uh, Word Manager, the virtualization software, is that the speed is better via RDP compared to this. We don't have useless space used by this toolbar and by this main menu. When I resize the free RDP window, it will tell ED Plasma to change its resolution, whereas if I resize the Word Manager window, it just does some strange scaling. And then also copy paste of text does not work using Word Manager out of the box. If you just install Kubuntu 25.10 in Word Manager, then for some reason copy paste of text doesn't work out of the box. Maybe you need to install some additional guest tools for QMU Word Manager. But um, if um, the RDP connection works, I'm always going to prefer the Remote Desktop Protocol version. And everything's snappy. I can program like this. I can do my, my job. X3RDP was very important for, for my day-to-day -day use. Thank you.